Hi everybody, it's Kelly. I'm going to apologise in advance for the shaky camera, but this thing is massive. So I couldn't put this on a tripod. So this is my latest project. I am so, so pleased with it. It has taken me a couple of weeks. It is really big. It's standing in front of the door. Can you see the top of the door frame there? So that gives you just an idea quite how big this thing is. And if I move back a bit, look, you can see the stand there, right the way down to the floor. So if I start with the stand actually, what I did with this was I covered it in some texture paste and then I rubbed over it with Inca Gold uh, in graphite. So that's all really textured and adds a bit of colour to that as well. And there was a bit of pattern down here on the feet already, so I just rubbed the Inca Gold over that. Then I started with this metal dress form. It's a full size, proper mannequin size dress form. And what I decided to do was to paper inside each and every single one of the gaps. And I've used the Graphic 45 Steampunk Debutante Paper as my base paper for this. Then what I did, which I'm going to show you in a minute to make this practical, because this isn't just an altered dress form, this is actually a lamp. So what I did to make it practical was I also used in some places, especially the back, some rice paper. Uh, because I knew that rice paper was a lot more likely to let the light through. Oh, two seconds. Sorry about that. Um, right, I've sent my big daughter off with my little daughter, so should we, we should get some peace for a while. So as I was saying, so I used the rice paper, and the reason I used the rice paper is because I looked at IKEA and their paper lamps, and what they use for their lamps is rice paper, as apparently it is a uh, flame retardant and it also lets the lights through. Also, the lights in this are um, energy saving bulbs, so they don't get very hot, so obviously they're not likely to burn the paper, but I wouldn't suggest that you leave it um, lit unattended. Anyway, so I started with the paper as I said and then on the, this is obviously the design paper, the steampunk debutante paper, and then on the rice paper I used a number of stamps and I used a uh, stays on ink in teal, saddle brown and black. And I've got um, product uh, links, not links, sorry, names of the products I used on my blog if you want to go over there and check that out. So I started by covering the whole thing in paper, as I said, and then what I did over this side is this little man here on the hand, can you see that? I need to hold on, let me turn that a bit. I popped him up on some pop dots and I popped up the little boy here as well. Then this is a blackbird, a wooden blackbird that I had, which I flocked, which looks really pretty there. And then this man here has let go of his pocket watch, so he's got some chain hanging from his hand down to his little pocket watch down here. And then the flying fish there also popped up on some pop dots. Then if I turn it back a little bit, and then if we move to this central panel, this is the only panel that's got one piece of paper for two separate panels. And the lady is behind, but her corset here is popped up on popped up dots, as is the little sign. And all over this, in various places, are just these butterflies, which I've cut from the paper line. And there's one there, and there's one on the shoulder, and a couple on the hat right at the top, just to tie the whole thing together. And then over this side, I did a whole assortment of um, embellishments. So I started mainly at the back um, with some uh, creepy cloth, some black creepy cloth which runs right the way throughout here and, and behind. And then I fussy cut a flower piece from the paper line and, and that was my base. Then I bought some really nice feather trim from eBay which is here which is sticking up and then these little black sprigs here which my friend Jane picked up for me um, in America. I'm in the UK obviously and I gave her some money and she went shopping for me and picked me up some really really cool stuff so thank you to Jane for that. Then I used this butterfly here which I covered in the design paper and then I covered in crackle accents and I built around that. So from this side here, this is really difficult to film, uh, I have a filigree piece under here, I have some trim which Jane also picked up for me, I have a rosette which I've cut out and I've sprayed with some Lindy's. Um, I have some flowers here from Craft Supplies One. Now Craft Supplies One is a US Etsy shop. But I would say if you're in the UK and you're worried about ordering from them, don't be. They're an absolutely fabulous shop. Julie's service is wonderful and they got here really quickly. So 
So from Craft Supplies 1, I got this one, which I've just covered in some glitter. This one, which is beautiful. This one, this one, um, this one over here, and this one over here as well. Some really, really beautiful flowers I got from Craft Supplies 1. This is a big Prima flower I had in my stash. This is a big foam flower, which I bought from eBay. Then I've got this charm here, which is sort of hanging from the underside, which I thought was quite steampunk, which Jane gifted to me. Thank you, Jane. Then this flower here I have made myself, and I've made that with aluminium foil tape. There's a filigree piece under here. There's a charm, which I got from eBay. There's another charm, which um, Jane sent me from the US. I don't think it's articate, but something very similar. There's another filigree, another flower from Craft Supplies One. Uh, this is a Prima flower. Then this is a chipboard piece from Tando Creative, which I have covered in metal foil tape and then rubbed in um, rub and buff in teal. Uh, under here I have a bead spray, which is from Craft Supplies One again. And that, I think, kind of takes us round this, this, uh, this area, this embellished area. Then if I move up, down the middle here, I have this piece of chain, which I just thought made quite a nice effect, and it just runs down to the top of the lady here. Then at the top here, I have used this big skull in the middle, which is from my stash, and these are Prima wings, which I've painted black, and then I've covered in Inca Gold Platinum. And for this band of flowers here, there are a few Prima flowers in here, um, but most of these are metal filigree pieces, which I bent and twisted and um, bent a bit more with some pliers to kind of create some really cool shapes. And I think that that there just gives that a really cool effect and makes that a lot more steampunk. Then on this shoulder, I fussy cut some more flowers from the paper line and stuck them in there. And then in the armholes, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, in the armholes I've actually punched out within the paper butterflies all the way around, just to let a bit more light through there. Then on this side I have used uh, some more of the feather trim that I used before, and again in that hole there, they are some more punched out butterflies. Then at the top I have made this wonderful top hat. I started with a plain top hat, and we wanted it to be a bit more, so I got my husband to help me with this. I'd like to take the credit, but I can't. He suggested that we cut the top of the hat and put some wire in the middle, which we've done, and I think that gives it a really nice effect. And then the whole hat is done in the metal foil tape technique, which I learned from Ratch0113. Um, I've used this technique before, but I'm just giving her a shout out again, and the whole entire hat is covered in that. Then these goggles here are steampunk goggles by Tando Creative, a really, really amazing company with some really cool things to alter. You should definitely check them out. And I've covered the main goggle bits with the design paper. Then I've again done the sort of metal foil technique. Um, the front of the goggles here I've covered in watch parts, which I got from eBay. Then one goggle is this bronze colour and the other one is gold. And then I've got some uh, gears on here as you can see with a bit more wire which comes out to this really cool articake in the shape of an eye at the side which I'm really really pleased with then all around the hat I've got this d-ring shaped um, uh, trim and then there's chain hanging from that bear with me two seconds and I shall turn it around and okay so this is the back and at the back there isn't really any of the design paper it's mainly just the rice paper and then I've used that metal foil technique again to write the word steampunk across there. And in the corners of that, we have some of the Prima uh, brads. Um, and then again, like I said, there's some of these little butterflies sort of dotted around in places. Then at the back of the top hat, as you can see, of course, it laced that up. We left a gap in the metal. And then I've made these two really cool big bows. And there's a big foam flower in the center of that and some feathers coming out of the back there. Then around the neckline, I've covered that in texture paste, black texture paste, and I've added some glass tiles, which I've altered, and some little metal pieces, which I've altered. And on the top of that, there is some nuts and bolts. And then this whole thing for the light here has um, black texture paste all over it. What I'm going to do now is turn off the lights so that you can see what this looks like in action. So bear with me a minute. Around the floor, around the messy floor. Excuse the messy floor. Um, Right, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this. 
let's go back so this is the back of the light so the lights run right the way through the dress form which I think looks absolutely amazing so that is these bulbs like I said are energy saving bulbs so they do take a while to sort of brighten up a bit but that is the light that you're getting out of the back of the lamp there and then also there's another light as you can see out the top there out of the hat so that is that is the back of the lamp and let me turn it back round so here we have the front of the lamp illuminated with the lights on on the inside I mean it is daytime now I've drawn the curtains but the lights aren't going to show that well but through the front there's not so much rice paper through the front as there is at the back but there's these two pieces at the bottom which obviously let the light through quite well and then this piece in the centre around the skull so you've got the light shining through the eyes um, and the light does also sort of shine through the middle of the filigree pieces as well which looks really cool and then down the side panels and that there was the idea of cutting the butterflies out of the shoulder panels so you'd get the light shining through there and then again at the top with the hat you've got the hat sort of acts as a lampshade and you've got the light shining through there so yeah I'm really really pleased with it it was an absolutely fantastic project a really 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 good fun to make lots and lots and lots of photos and more descriptions and what have you on my blog please pop over and check it out leave me a comment let me know what you think thank you everyone see you soon